With the introduction of the NVIDIA GTX 1050 and the 1050 Ti, the options for more budget-friendly builds has opened up. And today we're going to be looking at a few benchmarks between the MSI 1050 Ti Gaming and the Sapphire RX 460. Both cards have their similarities and their differences, but more importantly, they are entry-level offerings not meant to burn a hole in your wallet. As for our testing platform, we used an i7-5930K on an Asus X99MWS with 32GB of Corsair DDR4 at 2133MHz. As for our first test, we decided to run the new Gears of War 4, both on medium and on high settings. The game does have an ultra setting, but we decided not to test it out as both of these are entry-level cards. Although on a few of our future tests, we will be running at higher settings to push these cards to their limits to see if they can run newer titles at higher settings. To start things off though, we ran the 1050 at medium at 74 FPS and the RX 460 scored 53 FPS on medium, while on high, the 1050 had 65 FPS as an average and the 460 had 46 FPS. The frame difference between the two on medium is 21, which is a pretty significant difference for an FPS average. For our next test, we decided to run Grand Theft Auto 5 with pretty much maxed out settings, both with MSAA turned off and then MSAA turned on at times four. For the first test, the 1050 scored 71 FPS as an average, while the 460 averaged 49 FPS. And then for the test with the MSAA turned on to times four, the 1050 Ti scored 54 FPS, while the 460 scored 33 FPS. As for the difference between the two with MSAA turned off, we had a 22 frame difference for the average. As for our third test, we decided to go with the demanding rise of the Tomb Raider on high. We tested it with both FXAA and SMAA. For the first test, the 1050 Ti averaged 56 FPS, while the RX 460 averaged 43 FPS. And then for SMAA, we saw a average of 51 for the 1050 Ti and 40 for the RX 460. The average difference between frame rates between the two cards is 13 in favor of the 1050 Ti. And as for our final test, we decided to run Dirt Rally on Ultra with MSAA at times two and times four. The 1050 Ti ran the game at 81 and 71 for the times two and times four. And the RX 460 ran at 52 and 44 FPS. The difference between the two at MSAA at times two was a 29 FPS difference. Averaging out our tests between all four, the difference in the FPS averaged 21 better on the 1050 Ti. And as for thermal temperatures, the GTX 1050 Ti averaged 13 degrees Celsius cooler than the RX 460 while under these tests. As for a conclusion, it's pretty safe to say that the 1050 Ti is a very strong contender against the 460, winning this test fairly handily. I'd also say that maybe comparing a 1050 non-TI version might be a little bit more of a closer test to an RX 460, as the 1050 Ti seems to almost be in the ballpark range of an RX 470. Surprised by any of the results? Let us know what you think down below in the comments. And if you're looking to put a personal touch on any machines from us at Exotic PC, be sure to check out our extensive customization options before checkout, including upgrades available to the CPU, GPU, RAM, storage, cooling, overclocking, custom paint, hydro and graphic wraps, laser etching, and much, much more. This has been Andrew saying thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for future product overviews and reviews.